Marie Antoinette never said, let them eat cake. That was Eric Cantor. I'm Keith Olbermann. Welcome to Countdown Online and another first guess. Indeed, there is no evidence that the Queen of France ever said anything of the kind when told the peasants had no bread. Unfortunately, there is no question that the House Majority Leader said what he said about funding emergency relief for the victims of the airborne version of Katrina that hit Joplin, Missouri and its environs. We could spend the rest of our lives simply collecting the monstrous, inhuman, pro-suffering things said by Republican leaders over the years, but I doubt many of them would contend for sheer arrogance, for tone deafness, for self-revelation with the remarks from Eric Cantor in the wake of Joplin and the push to pass a supplemental spending bill to provide just a little more help to the tornado victims of Missouri and the region. If there is support for a supplemental, he said, it would be accompanied by support for having pay-fors to that supplemental. Pay-for is Republican speak for budget cuts. Mangled bodies were still being pulled out of the wreckage where Joplin, Missouri used to be, and Eric Cantor still had to, had to, had to turn it into a political stunt for his phony budget-cutting meme. He exploited the dead, wounded, and homeless of a typical Midwestern American town to serve his endless pitch to economically enslave the people of places just like Joplin so that the rich people he serves can get just that much more rich. It is shameful. It is not even the argument about cutting funds elsewhere. Surely the money could be cut from, say, the Pentagon budget or from funds due to be spent in the 7th District of Virginia represented by one Eric Cantor. But there is no excuse, none, for talking about pay-fors at the very hour when body bags are being filled. If Mr. Cantor does not realize that, he should resign his leadership post and even resign his seat. He has no business in the people's house if he can act so crudely and crassly towards actual people. And for people living in those parts of Missouri not touched by the tornadoes, let me note that six of your state's nine congressmen and women are Republicans, and one of your senators, and your state assembly, and your state senate, and they support this Cantor. To anybody from Joplin, I'm sorry you had to hear any of this from Cantor or from me. I apologize. We can discuss it much later once things have improved enough that politics matter again to you.